So our uh, this equation one, the estimated model has no problem, right? That we have checked, no serial correlation, no heteroscedasticity, residuals are normally distributed, R squared is high, F statistics is significant. So we are happy about this model, right? So this model can be used for forecasting. Okay. So okay. Uh, so uh, okay. Uh, first, I talk about okay. Forecasting. I'm writing here. Forecasting has two methods, right? Forecasting has two methods. Number one, dynamic method, and number two, static static method. Right. So there are two method. So and here uh, is in dynamic forecasting. So for, so so first I talk about what is called dynamic method right in dynamic forecasting previously forecasted value for the lagged dependent variables will be used in forming forecast of the current value so the so th that is the ma method of dynamic forecasting and what about the static method static method is here static method calculates a sequence of one step ahead forecast using the actual value but not the forecasted value for lagged dependent variables so that is static method of forecasting okay here for this model eq1 model here we shall be using static method for forecasting Okay, I proceed. So I choose here. I choose. I click on the forecast and forecast name. Forecast name. Uh, suppose I put our equation E Q one and Y F. Right, because this is our model E Q one and the dependent variable is y and that will be forecasted so eq1 yf so that is our the name of the uh, name of the forecasting variable and here i choose static forecasting static and it is our model right static forecasting and the forecast sample should be from 1991 to 2000 that means 1991 to 2000 that we choose right 1991 2000 and here I deselect I deselect means actual value uh, will not come right only forecasted value will be appeared okay EQ1 YF right we are ready for forecasting we are ready for forecasting our dependent variable 
which is y using static forecast right okay so i press okay so this is our uh, model oh, sorry this is our forecast eq1 yf right right actual is y so we have done 10 years forecast 10 years forecast that we have done and you can see these are all forecasting evaluate forecasting evaluation method right example root mean square error mean absolute error and so on okay here uh, i shall choose root mean square error as a benchmark for 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 our evaluation so the question is that so that means i shall choose re root mean square error the value is how much uh, value is a uh, 1.17 2155 and what is this root mean square error actually this 1.17 is the gap between actual y and forecasted y and so smaller the value smaller the value the gap between actual y and for forecasted y becomes small meaning that model is better smaller the value the gap between actual y and for forecasted y becomes smaller so here i am writing uh, smaller smaller the value the gap between actual y and forecasted y becomes smaller meaning meaning that actual y forecasted y move move closely move closely so so ability of forecasting the model is satisfactory satisfactory but the problem is that here problem is that here root mean square is, is slightly high 1.17 is slightly high so meaning that gap between actual y and f forecasted y may be white okay and here you can see eq1 yf so this is here this one is here right actually this one is 95 percent confidence <laughs> interval this two line right and it is passing through the 95 percent confidence interval so uh, so meaning that between two standard deviation right so this one is passing through 95 percent confidence interval so meaning that we are happy about it 
because it is passing through the for the dependent variable which has been forecasted is passing through 95 percent confidence interval so we are happy about about it okay now you know that this forecasted value has been saved in the work file right has been saved in the work file so uh, here uh, we can check the w the work file you see eq1yf right it has been saved nicely here 